Okay, welcome to your first day of MCAS. This is part one of the eighth grade math review. The first thing I want to share with you was what we learned about rational and irrational numbers. Remember, irrational numbers are numbers that go on forever with no pattern, such as these non-perfect square roots, pi, or numbers that have dot, dot, dots. Uh, rational numbers are any positive or negative numbers that can be written as a fraction. So they end, repeat, or have some type of pattern to it. We also learned how to estimate uh, irrational square roots, like square root of 34. We knew it was between 5 and 6 between because it's between square root of 25 and square root of 6. And then you'd have to multiply like 5.8 times 5.8 until you got really close to uh, 34 to the nearest tenth. Um, then in another unit about uh, in October, we learned about uh, excuse me solving equations. We had multi-steps where you had to distribute and combine like terms, and if there was variables on both sides, you'd always get rid of the smaller uh, variable first. So see here, we added 4x to both sides and then did our thing from there. Um, we also, in eighth grade, did uh, fraction equations where you have to clear the fractions by multiplying by the LCD. So here we multiply both sides by 12. 12 divided by 3 is 4, and 4 times 1 is 4. 12 divided by 12 is 1. 1 times 5 is 5, and so on. It clears the fractions. Same thing with decimals. You can just multiply by the highest power of um, 10. Also, in eighth grade, when you solve equations, sometimes you'll get no solution at the end. So you'll get two things that don't equal each other if it's no solution. Infinite solutions, you get two things that equal the same thing. We had a huge unit on linear relationships this year. Uh, we started with slope. And another word for slope, if you see it on MCAS, is rate of change. Um, slope dude ta taught us that undefined slope was up and down vertical. Zero slope is horizontal. Um, and then obviously puff, puff, positive, and nice negative. Uh, to find slope from two points, we use this formula. Um, we can write an equation from a line using our y equals mx plus b. We start at our y-intercept, which here is negative 3. And our slope is up 3 over 1, so it's y equals 3x minus 3 uh, for this equation. Uh, so, and then if you're graphing it, you do the same thing. You start on the b, which is your y-intercept, and move according to the slope. If it's positive, you're going to go, um, yeah, up into the right. And if it's negative, you'll go uh, down into the right. And if it goes off the graph, remember, you have to do the opposite. Later on, actually the first topic we did in eighth grade was about transformations. We learned about rotating, reflecting, and translating. Uh, remember, rotating was the hardest. If it was 80, 180, you just made X and Y opposite. But if it was 90 clockwise or 90 counterclockwise, you would flop X and Y. And then we learned to, to remember to make Y opposite that you take uh, the CC and counterclockwise, change it to a Y, and that tells you to make the y opposite when you're transforming. Uh, reflections, remember if it was like y equals 2, uh, that's a horizontal line at 2, so that would be like right there. If it was x equals uh, 2, you're going to reflect over the vertical line there at 2. Uh, translate, you just slide, move every point. Uh, and notation here, this would be um, left five and up three. Dilations are the only things that make the figures bigger or smaller. To find a dial, uh, the scale factor, you would take the new coordinates divided by the old coordinates. That brings us to similar congruent figures. Um, when you do similar congruent figures, you have to remember that when you translate, reflect, or rotate, you always get congruent images. However, when you dilate, that's going to give you uh, similar figures because uh, similar figures have the same uh, shape but a different size. And remember, anything that's congruent is also similar. We learned how to find missing side lengths from similar figures simply by looking at corresponding side, sides and making a proportion. So here you can see 4 goes to 16. Uh, so when I set up my proportion, I go 4 and then across is 16, and then 3 goes to x, so 3 goes to x, cross multiply and divide, and you get x equals 4. Uh, the next thing we learned 
in eighth grade math um, or close to it was angle relationships. Basically, if you see transversal lines, uh, they're both acute, then they're going to be the same. If both angles are obtuse, they're going to be the same. But if one's acute, like this one, and one's obtuse, like uh, this one, then they'll add up to 180. So then you would use the rules that we learned to set up equations uh, using the expressions and solve them. This was big in eighth grade, exterior angle rule. Uh, here we learned that the two inside ones equals the outside angle. So 60 plus 70 is 130. And of course, don't forget that all triangles add up to 180. And we learned about Pythagorean theorem. Everyone liked that. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Remember, your longest side is the hypotenuse C. And at the end, you always have to square root both sides to find your missing side length. And also, uh, don't forget here, when you're finding a missing leg, like here, this is B, you had to subtract on both sides. So that's part one of our review. I hope that helps you get ready for day one of your MCAS.